All right, guys. Well, as you can see, it is another glorious, gloomy, rainy, depressing, yuck fucking day here in the end times. Jesus fucking Christ. Where are we now? Is it, uh, we had, I don't know. I don't know any more, guys. I don't know if it's fucking Tuesday or Wednesday. What fucking day it is anymore. They're all the goddamn same. I mean, look at this fucking bullshit. Uh, I don't know, actually, since I just planted my, uh, my overwintering green manure cover crops. Uh, it's actually a fine day, I guess, for to be an organic farmer who just got in his green manure. So anyway, you know, I'm starting to think, you know, I'm just going through the list of uh, why am I such a miserable fuck? I, I, I mean, what is it that keeps me in a constant state of uh, boiling fucking rage, grief, anxiety, depression, and uh, thinking, oh, okay, what is the common denominator? So there, there seem to be three fucking reasons that I'm, I'm such a miserable fucking wretch. One of them, of course, being this fucking weather. You know, this is fucking bullshit. I, I've just fucking had it. As I say, I'm going to put an asterisk by this particular fucking rainstorm. Uh, this particular one, I'm actually glad for. So, the weather is one thing uh, in this goddamn never-ending. I mean, what the fuck? Uh, I feel like an entire fucking summer ha has been wasted. Day after day, week after week, month after month of this fucking bullshit. So that's, that, that's area one, is the fucking weather. Uh, keeps me fucking pissed off my whole fucking life up here in upstate New York. Is this another fucking hurricane that I'm not even fucking aware of? And so, watch the goddamn uh, fucking windshield wiper. Coming up with the second reason that I, that I stay uh, fucking enraged. And, and, and that's this goddamn shit falling apart. You know, this motherfucking windshield wiper coming off. Some little fucking tiny little eighth of an inch piece of fucking plastic. So now I've got my fucking windshield wiper uh, gorilla taped together. And I can see that the fucking gorilla tape is uh, getting ready to come unraveled. In which case... I'm gonna lose my fucking windshield wipers. Of course, in the back of my truck, I don't know if you can see this. Not is this motherfucking lawnmower? This never-ending fucking drama. The lawnmower is fine. The fucking engine uh, is fine on this thing. It's the motherfucking uh, the uh, self-propel system on it. You know, so I, we don't have to push this motherfucker like Sisyphus pushing that fucking rock up that goddamn hill only to have to go up that fucking hill pushing that motherfucking rock. So the first thing that happened is the belt broke this summer. So we get the fucking belt broke. Belt fixed. And this is another fucking thing. These motherfucking uh, goddamn road construction I, I'm, I'm going to put this, the, the, these fucking roads falling apart, uh, along with every other motherfucking thing falling apart. So where was I? Yeah, so this motherfucking, first the fucking belt goes off, the self-propelled belt. <coughs> <coughs> so I go around dealing with that fucking bullshit. And then the fucking cable breaks. So I go around and I deal with that fucking bullshit. And so we get the new belt, then we get the new cable, then the next fucking thing is the, is the fucking uh, box, the, the, the little uh, gear box that somehow connects the cable and the belt. I, anyway, so we changed the fucking gear box. I said, okay, I've done the whole motherfucking system. I've changed the fucking belt. I've changed the fucking cable. I've changed the fucking gear box. Take the motherfucking lawnmower out. What do you think fucking happens? is the motherfucking 
this uh, this belt guard, the, the, this shield uh, up under the bottom of the fucking mower that keeps grass and sticks and rocks and shit from, from getting up inside the fucking belt falls a fucking part. So I take it fucking back. And the guy's going, good God, dude, how many times are you coming back with this fucking lawnmower about this fucking uh, self-propelled? And I said, motherfucker, now it's the motherfucking, uh, it's the motherfucking, uh, whatever you call this motherfucking thing. And so his advice, take the fucking thing off, he said. Just take it off. He goes, it's the actual shield that's knocking the fucking belt off. He goes, just take it off. And then guess what he says, of course. Uh, and if you still get shit, he suggested Gorilla Tape uh, to keep shit, you know. That was the lawnmower repairman's idea. Jesus fucking Christ. And uh, so anyway, uh, we have, so what do we have? We have the fucking weather. When we have everything fucking falling apart, all of this goddamn mechanical equipment, but even even that second one, and, and look, look at this shit. All I'm trying to do is get across the fucking, is get across the fucking railroad track. Motherfucker. You know, trying to get across a motherfucking railroad track. Where the fuck are they taking me? You know, then no fucking sign, no fucking sign which fucking way you're supposed to go to get across the motherfucking railroad track. There's the fucking road I fucking want to be on on the other side of the motherfucking railroad track. I, I spent half my fucking summer around here driving around and around and around and fucking around these goddamn roads falling apart in this motherfucking global industrial fucking civilization falling apart but what is the what is the common denominator of everything here except possibly possibly the weather and uh, i'm not going to get into uh, anthropogenic climate change the, the the fucking common denominator through all of this motherfucking bullshit is fucking humans <coughs> fucking humans are the reason I walk around so motherfucking <coughs> pissed off my whole fucking life. You know? Jesus fucking Christ. The reason I'm, uh, you know, the reason I'm at where I'm at, uh, the second fucking store, uh, second fucking supermarket. I go to the first motherfucking supermarket. Okay, I, I, I mean a full supply fucking supermarket that would make, y y you know, two-thirds of the people on the planet fucking come in their pants with, with, with all of the goddamn uh, bounty laid out in, in front of you. Go to the whole fucking thing. I, I go in there. Do you think I can find my Dunkin' Donuts coffee creamer? They got, they got. 55,000 fucking items. No fucking uh, Dunkin' Donuts uh, coffee creamer, which by the way has no palm oil. The shit is cream and sugar. Dunkin' Donuts. Let me put in a uh, good word for Dunkin' Donuts coffee. No fucking Dunkin' Donuts coffee creamer. So then I go to look for my fucking thick slice bacon. They got like like 15 fucking versions of now they call it what what do they call this uh this fucking bacon that you know that's about as fuck as as thick as a fucking piece of fucking toilet paper classic cut classic cut my ass this fucking toilet paper you try to cook the shit and it sticks to the fucking bottom of the pan. You can't even you can't even turn the shit because it sliced so fucking thin. So you have so what they now call thick slice bacon is what the real fucking classic cut bacon is. So I go to the second fucking go to the second fucking supermarket looking for some fucking thick slice bacon. 
They have three fucking brands of thick, thick price bacon. One of them at a half price. I say, hot damn, half fucking price. So, I so there's this big yellow sign, two for one, you know. So I so I go and I load up six pounds of fucking bacon, six fucking pounds uh, of uh, this thick sliced bacon. Go up, wait through the motherfucking. Uh, wait through the motherfucking line and I get to the fucking cash register and there's no discount on the bacon. I, I said, what are you talking about? I, I said it, it was half price. And she says, well, you obviously picked up the wrong fucking brand of bacon, you clueless fucking moron. And I said, no, you clueless fucking bitch. Who, whoever the clueless fucking moron was who set up the sign it, it is the fucking clueless moron. Uh... So anyway, she goes, she calls the, you know, the girl over, can you help this gentleman find the right kind of bacon to get his discount? So we march the fucking six pounds of bacon all the way to the farthest fucking corner uh, of the fucking uh, supermarket, right? So there's the sign. And the two runs, she goes, no, sir, this is, this is the bacon uh, that's on sale. I said, are you sure? And, uh, so there, there it was. She told me so that, so the girl starts picking out, uh, the, the, the you know, the six pounds of bacon. I said, no, no. I said, I need to, uh, pick out these six pounds of bacon myself and make sure that they meet my bacon, uh, discriminatory qualifications. So we sit there, we pick out six pounds of fucking thick slice bacon. We go back up. I'm with the fucking bitch who works at the store. We go back up and, and I, so now of course there's two more people on that. So I, I sit through the line a fucking second time. I get there. The, the woman rings up the bacon. Take a long fucking guess. It's the wrong fucking brand. And, and I'm looking over at the fucking girl and I said, darling, uh, I said, apparently, you don't have any more fucking idea than I do. Which fucking bacon? I said, there's only one motherfucking uh, brand left. Uh, I said, by process of fucking elimination, it, it's got to be the right fucking brand. So we pack up my six pounds of bacon. We go back to the fucking back of the store. And, uh, and, and... and and I said, well, this is the only one that can, it could be at this point. So for the third fucking time, I, I rack up six pounds of fucking bacon, go back, and, and of course, I have to, I get to wait through the fucking line a third fucking time, get there, I finally get my goddamn, uh, I, I get my goddamn half off coupon on the fucking thick sliced bacon, which is another word for the way fucking bacon used to fucking look. Jesus, you know, and it's just constant fucking bullshit like this. You know, I, I, I go down uh, to, to the goddamn, uh, to the fucking DMV. Uh, I, you know, my, my last stop before the fucking DMV uh, before the fucking first grocery store was the fucking DMV. You know, I, I need to register uh, my camper and my truck. And uh, so, of course, I have lost the fucking title to the Maggie Mae. I've lost the fucking title. And, you know, I have all the fucking information, all the fucking VIN number, all of this shit. And needless to say, they laugh me out of the place and say, you're just going to have to contact Florida and, and get a replacement title before you can register your fucking camper. But of course, I'm probably going to be taking off out of here. Are you follow me? W with fucking expired out-of-state plates on the back of the fucking camper. So I'm not going to be able to leave here, the, the, the camper. So the other thing is, so I, I said... Uh, Okay, I, I said, I need to come down here next month and, and, and register my truck. A and uh, I knew what was getting ready to happen. I didn't even get into all of these fucking toll, toll booth tickets. So what I've received from the fucking state of New York, 
they t they've told me that my my registration on my truck remember I bought this fucking truck in Texas it had this motherfucking uh, this motherfucking uh, salvage title on it you know this rebuilt salvage title uh, that's already cost me five hundred fucking dollars a year extra to get it insured in New York so now they've sent me this thing so my fucking registration is officially suspended that I that this truck is illegally registered uh, so I am supposed to what they're claiming they want out of me is uh, they're asking for 155 fucking dollars before I can register my fucking truck uh, they, they want 155 fucking dollars to run a stolen vehicle record search because it's an out-of-state salvage title on my truck uh, they're suspicious that I'm trying to register a stolen fucking vehicle and so I'm saying so now you're accusing me of, uh, uh, of uh, stealing a uh, stealing a fucking truck in Texas and, and, and trying to uh, sneak up here to New York no sir no one is no one is accusing you of stealing a truck you know all, all of this fucking bullshit and I don't even want to fucking go there uh, about uh, about all of these motherfucking uh, uh, all these motherfucking toll booth uh, violations I noticed two of these are when I was you know when I stopped off to see Dulcinea uh, last year I've got two of these motherfucking Pennsylvania turnpike fines uh, to add to uh, the hundreds of dollars I already spent going to visit that crazy girl uh, last year Jesus fucking Christ and now of course you know before I can get it registered I have to go get the goddamn uh, you know the motherfucking uh, the, the motherfucking inspection well we all remember last year well already uh, I've got a hole in my in my motherfucking uh, tail light you can't change the fucking plastic lens but you know it's, it's just everywhere you're fucking you, you fucking turn it's dealing with fucking humans e either some shoddy ass manu made in China manufacturing thing some fucking bureaucrat and some fucking bullshit bureaucracy these clueless fucking morons uh, you know at the motherfucking grocery store not not knowing what fucking uh, bacon is on sale uh, you know the, the the amount of my fucking life you know and I'm and I'm looking back over uh, over just the past week or so uh, in, in my life what, what has caused me uh, the most fucking heartache and misery uh, it, 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 it's goddamn humans and it's not even normies anymore you know it, it used to be that I could blame all of this shit on normies but now it, it's fucking doomers it, it, it's uh, it's my own tribes members my own fucking tribes members here breaking my fucking heart pissing me off uh, you, you know uh, fucking letting me down uh, one of them, uh, you, you know, uh, of course, uh, deal, dealing with one of them, fucking uh, finding out who your fucking true friends are. I, I, I've got another uh, person I love dearly uh, losing her fucking mind. Uh, and, and then I've got another uh, one of our tribes members. Uh, uh, looks like has about a week to live, you, you, you know. Uh, and so I, you, you know, I, I've I, I've got one doomer chick that I love on on, on her fucking deathbed, uh, checking out on me. I got another fucking doomer chick that I love, uh, you know, losing her fucking mind as the whole goddamn. Uh, world goes crazy and, and I honest uh, you know 
and, and you know, uh, just 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 these two women. Uh, you know, I honestly don't know uh, whether whether to be jealous of them. You know, it's just uh, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, it, it's the people you love. Uh, you, you, you know, uh, causing more, causing more fucking grief and heartache. And then, you know, if, if it's some clueless fucking moron you're dealing with, uh, Jesus. And, and, you know, and these fucking normies just, uh, just good God, just trying to, and, and, oh yeah, the other one. So, so I get up this fucking morning, you know, with, with these motherfucking normies, and uh, for the first time in my life, I have gotten a uh, a bad Airbnb or hip camp review. I have an absolutely one hundred percent five star stellar star host rating on hip camp and Airbnb. I have never received anything but five out of five stars. I probably have over 500 stars, a perfect rating. Uh, so I, I had these clueless fucking moron normies showing up uh, this weekend for Labor Day. This isn't the tiny house. This is the uh, the Maggie May I'm talking about. You know the the little trailer. Uh, they they were they they show up at fucking midnight. They they they, they show up here at fucking midnight, uh, Saturday night. Uh, you, you know, disturbing the uh, the people in the fucking tiny house, checking into the goddamn trailer and, and all of this shit. Uh, d d dealing with these clueless fucking morons, but they were nice enough, and uh, so I'm showing them around the fucking Maggie May, and they, they seemed perfectly nice, everything seemed to be copacetic with them. I talked to him briefly the next day, I said, is there anything else that, that you need uh, that I can do for you? So they asked if they could have an extra blanket. Well, they already had they had flannel sheets, two fucking blankets uh, on their bed, uh, a heater in the fucking in, in the fucking trailer, and two people uh, in, in the same bed together. I, I said, "Fine." I said, "You need a third blanket." So I bring them a third fucking blanket. They're they're perfectly nice. Uh, so when they're leaving, you know, they're packing up on uh, on Labor Day. You know, pulling out, uh, totally nice saying how much they enjoy their stay and everything, then I get their fucking room. I, I have this fucking uh, email from Airbnb alerting me to a bad review. A bad review. Uh, that these motherfuckers gave me three stars out of five. You know, it's one, two, three, four, or five. So on three of the, on, on for me, they gave me five stars, okay? They gave me five stars, they gave Bugs in a Jar five stars, but what they said, of course, the cleanliness, they said uh, the cleanliness, they gave a three out of five, so I had three fives and a three, and then they said they gave me a two on the accuracy of my listing, you know, like the description of, of what I was offering uh, with this trailer, uh, they gave me a two out of five, uh, you know, implying uh, that I was lying out my ass uh, uh, about the fucking uh, Maggie Mae, uh, little fuckers. So Airbnb has ripped my fucking ad down for five days, so I've been slapped on the wrist. Uh, they're giving me five days to remedy the situation, meaning to uh, make my my listing more accurate and get the place cleaned up 
into a five-star standard, but of course I have no fucking clue what they were talking about, uh, about the fucking listing being inaccurate. And then they just essentially told me, Airbnb said, you know, we're ripping your ad down for five fucking days, and then what we're gonna fucking do uh, is basically bury your listing. That, that your listing is gonna be so fucking buried because we can't have any complaints. So uh, they, they've buried, the, and I'm assuming that just means the, the Maggie May has been buried and, and, and not the uh, tiny house. You know, dealing with these fucking normies. Uh, what did Dulcinea say in a comment to uh, one of my videos today? Pray for the normies. Uh, yeah, Dulcinea telling me to pray for the normies. And uh, like I answer back, like, like pray for the fucking normies to do what? Pray for the fucking normies to pull their fucking heads out of their asses? You know, uh, I wish to fuck I was a normie. If I was a fucking normie, uh, I would be living in a beautiful fucking home uh, in, in South Austin, Texas. Uh, you know, partying uh, with all of my fucking normie, clueless fucking, lovable normie friends, partying with them. Uh, you know, I've been at some fucking picking party, uh, banging some fucking normie chick. Uh, Jesus. Uh, what I would give for some fucking normie pussy right about now. Uh, pray for the normies. What do you think, little dog? Should we pray for the normies? Uh, anywho's fucking humans. You know, somebody over there at Collapse Chronicles uh, calling me a misanthropist. And I said there is a thin line between a misanthropist, which is somebody who doesn't like people, to a human racist, which is what uh, I consider myself a human racist. It is the whole fucking human race. It's just living with the fucking human race. Hell is other people. And then, of course, uh, if, if you, you know, go off and live in a fucking cave and uh, try to disengage uh, from, other, from other fucking people, uh, it's every bit as fucking depressing as dealing with fucking people. There, there, there's no fucking way out of, of, the, uh, of the human trap. What do you think, little dog? I say Bobby should join the little dog trap. So I'm going to hang out with my little dog. Uh, you know, this is so fucking sick and tired of this whole fucking bullshit. Running around and now dealing now. I got to go deal with the fucking state of Florida. Jesus fucking Christ, getting some fucking old trailer title. Go deal with the fucking state of New York doing a goddamn stolen uh, vehicle search uh, on my goddamn truck. Go deal with the fucking state of New York uh, inspection department dealing with it, trying to get the find a fucking tail light for this motherfucking truck. But at least I've got six pounds of thick sliced bacon. I do have six pounds of thick sliced bacon, uh, which should get me through 24 BLTs. I should have 24 more days ahead before the uh, frost sets in, and I really have to start thinking about how fucked I am. Just, just thinking, just fucking thinking. Uh, about pulling out of here for the winter. <sighs> the, the very fucking thought of it is uh, th this goddamn uh, depression building. Uh, heading out 
alone with my little dog uh, with, with nobody uh, that I you know no human I fucking want to be with Dulcinea or anyone else it'll be me and the fucking little dog just like it's been for 12 fucking years and you know and just dealing uh, with, with fucking humans uh, back at the Hambone Hilton looking at my fucking filthy little trailer not fit for a goddamn pig and now guys we have a rat in the tiny house a fucking rat uh, has moved into the fucking tiny house I just can't wait till my next normie review about my fucking rat infested tiny house we're so fucked. Get out there and enjoy your rat-infested tiny house while you still can. Bye, guys.